Hi everyone, it's Elena here from Lavinia Stamps Design Team. Thank you for joining me today and I hope you're all enjoying this fabulous clockwork carnival. Four days full of inspiration, fun, tips, techniques and giveaways plus the amazing new stamp collection. I have thoroughly enjoyed working with them and using them in my projects. For today's tutorial I'm going to do something a bit different. I'm going to be making a working clock just using these fabulous new stamps. For the background I'm going to be using acrylic sprays. So I'm going to use burnt umber, emerald green, white and a mica spray, Chestnut Bay. And this is a beautiful vintage brown with like a gold mica in it. Just to create our perfect backgrounds, just ready for working on. And this is one of the pieces from using those colours together. Before we move on to do our clock, I'm just going to show you the stamps. So we're going to be using Topper, Steampunk Script, Zaya, and she is absolutely beautiful and you can use her in many ways. That beautiful masquerade mask and of course the Steampunk goggles. Rose from the Rose set, I'm using one of the clocks from the clock set and tick tock from the words of steam. Two sentiments from the time flies collection and the small angel wings and these are so versatile because you can use them for a lot of things. I've used them for a feather on a hat and also to act like a collar on a jacket or a cardigan. Texture stamp one and two. Brilliant to create your grungy backgrounds with. And I'm just going to use a few cogs from cog set one and cog set three just to do our background. So if I lift this up, you can just see I've stamped them in second generation. So, let's get started. So I'm going to create our background. So I'm just going to spritz this with some water on the front and back of this card. And now I'm going to use bright white acrylic spray and I'm just going to spritz that randomly over my card. Then I'm going to use burnt umber and with this I'm just going to spritz this just randomly around the edge of the card. Emerald green and again we're just going to just go around the edge using this lovely green. Then I'm going to use Chestnut Bay Mica Infused Spray. So I'm just going to give this a shake up just to get all that mica at the bottom mixed in. And then we're going to spritz this just randomly over our card. So I'm just going to give that quite a lot of spritzing going to go back to using the bright white so we're just going to mix that all in there we go and then I'm just going to use a bit of water just to help to move things around and then we're going to place our card on top so we make a sandwich and then I'm going to close this and give this a good rub then I'm going to open it up and then rub it again. I'm 
Okay, let's see what background we've created. And there we have our beautiful background. And I'm just going to use my brush just to quickly just blend that into our card. So we're just going to quickly just blend that in. So now I'm just going to use my heat gun to dry my background up. My backgrounds are completely dry now, ready for working on. This is the piece that we used to do all of our spraying on. And then we used this piece to place over the top and get two beautiful backgrounds. So I'm going to use this piece for today's project. So I've got my clock face here and I'm just going to place that onto my card. And I'm going to use this area so I'm just going to place that over and then with a the pencil I'm just going to draw around the edge. And then we're just going to cut that out quickly and this is just our guide. So I'm just going to cut around our line. I'm just going to do this rough. So I'm just using my stamping platform just to do a little bit of stamping. Before I do any stamping, I've cut out a clock face on my electronic cutting machine. But if you do not have one and you have a protractor, you can just draw a line and then at every 30 degrees, just do a marking and that would be perfect place to put your numbers. So I'm going to keep my clock face at the moment on my stamping platform and I'm going to use the beautiful Zia and I'm going to position her where I'd want her to go and just making sure that the numbers are around her and then I'm just going to pick up the topper, our beautiful hat and now we're just going to have a bit of a play just to see where we're going to have them. So I think we're just going to have her there. So I'm going to pop my hat, keep my hat into place. Pick it up. And now I'm going to take away my clock face. And then use my magnets just to keep my background into place. For stamping with I'm going to use Versafine Claire Nocturne so I'm just going to ink up the top first. So I'm just going to give that a good ink up and then stamp it. There we go. And then on a piece of copier paper you need to stamp this so that we've got our mask. And now I've put Zia into place. And now we're just going to partly ink up her. So I'm just going to start from the bottom and up to her mouth then just a little bit of a nose and you'll see that when I stamp it. So let's just get that part stamped. So you can see I've only just stamped the shoulders and the bottom of her face because next bit is we just need to stamp a bit more of her ears. So I'm just going to ink those up a little bit and stamp those a bit more. There. And now we need to do her eyes. So I'm just going to use my ink pad. Firstly, ink the eyes. 
and then with my cloth I'm now just going to take away the ink that I don't want so just take your time just cleaning this stamp up and I think I'll just use my finger now I'll go back to me using my cloth one good thing with the stamping platform is that you can go back and ink areas up that you've missed so I'm just going to take my time just cleaning this stamp up taking away the ink I don't want so let's do a bit more on this side I'm just taking time there we go And now I'm going to stamp this just to see if I need to do her eyes a bit more. So we've got the masquerade mask in place and now I'm going to pick this up and then ink it up still using Versafine Claire Nocturne. So we're just going to give this a good ink up and then stamp this. And there we have our beautiful mask in place. I'm going to be using the small angel wings now and with this I'm going to place it around her neckline. And I'm just going to position them both together just so that I'm happy with it all. And then I'm going to stamp one. And then I'm going to use Versafine Claire Chianti. So I'm just going to ink that up, stamp it, and do it again. And then stamp it. And then I'm going to use Versafine Claire Nocturne. And all I'm going to do is just gently catch the edge of the stamp. You'll see this better when I stamp it. So, yeah. And it's just building up a bit of depth to it. Yeah. And now I'm going to use one of the stamps from the set of two clocks. And with that, I'm going to use Morning Mist. So I'm just going to ink this up. I'm going to stamp first onto some copier paper just to see how dark it is. And I want it quite light. So I'm going to do this in second generation. So give this a good ink up stamp it and now we can just position that just coming off her hat and give that a good press down and then another one so again stamp off a just copy of paper and we're just going to position that just about here give that a good press down and then we're going to do one more so again just stamp off and we're going to pop one 
just up here. So now we're just building up our clock scene. I'm going to be using cog set one now. So I'm just going to pick one of the stamps up, still using Versafine Claire Morning Mist. So we're just going to ink that up and we're going to do these in second generation. So now we're just going to pop those into place, just building up our background. So I've just picked a stamp up from the cog set three and I'm going to do this in second generation again, still using Versafine Claire Morning Mist and we're just going to keep building up our cogs. And now I'm going to use the rose set. For that I'm just going to use Versafine Claire not turn. And all we're going to do now is just stamp some of these. So I'm just going to have a rose there. I think we could pop a rose up there. We could pop a rose up here. I have one here. I think we need one there. Just popped some copy of paper underneath my work and I'm going to use now the steampunk script and I'm going to use Versafine Claire Nocturne to stamp with but I'm going to do it in second generation. So let's just ink the stamp up. Stamp onto some copy of paper and now we're just going to position this over our work. So I think we're just going to have that there. Yeah. And we're just going to build up around the right side of our card. So just keep doing this all in second generation. Just bring this down a bit. Yeah. And then just do a bit at the top there. There we go. So we're going to do a bit of colouring now. So I'm using and seal watercolour pencils and I'm using here first number seven two three and we're just going to quickly just flick some of this colour upwards so we just want to quickly just add a bit of colour so I'm just going to use this around her hat and then just a little bit around on her shoulders and just around those feathers there. So I'm just quickly adding some colour with some water I'm just going to put my brush in take some of the excess on and then we can just brush this into our work so just take the excess off and we can just gently blend that in and then we'll turn the card around and we're just going to pull that colour up. There we go. And then we can just quickly just do around her shoulders.
and then I'm going to use number 739 and this time we're just going to create a bit more depth into that hat of hers and run the edge here and a bit more around her shoulders and then again just by using your brush taking off the excess and we can just blend that in underneath around her rim of the hat just pulling that colour out around her shoulders and you just want that to blend nicely into your background and again just do around here and then I'm just going to use my brush onto the nib of my pencil just so that I can get that a little bit darker there. And then I'm just going to use a bit of number 734 and again we're just going to go over our hat just building that colour up brush it in the water taking off the excess and then we can just gently just blend all of that in And then I'm going back to number 739 and this is where we just start to add a bit of colour to her face and just around her neck. So this is just done very quickly just so that we can add a bit of colour to her. And then using my brush a bit of water taking off the excess and we can then just gently blend all of this in, just building some colour up on her face. There we go. And a bit around her neck, yeah. I'm just going to keep building this up now, so a bit more around her face here. A bit more around her neck. And a bit more on the face. There. And we'll just give her some colour to her lips. So I'm using number 754 and again just using your brush a bit of water and we just want to add a bit of soft colour to them going back to again number 739 and we're just going to gently just add a bit of colour on her eyes. There we go. And with a brush, just gently blend that in. And 
and give this a quick dry. So I've got my clock face here and now I'm going to use Bippity Boppity Glue and we're just going to glue some of that just around the edge here. So we want to get right to the edge just using this lovely glue and then all the way around the edge here. So make sure you get around there. Just mop that bit up. And now we can place our work on the top. So I'm just going to turn this over, just remove that bit of glue. I think I've just put my copy of paper down. And we're just going to place that over. I'm going to give this a good firm press down. So. And then I'm just going to put a piece of copy of paper over the top and then we can just give a good rub, making sure that we've got all the air bubbles out need to cut off the excess so I'm just going to use my craft knife and we're just going to go around the edge now just cutting off the excess and then I'm using a gold glitter pen and I'm just going to add a bit of gold just to the middle of the roses. Let's just do some, those little dots and a little dot here, here and then I'm going to work on the head and the hat so I'm just going to follow these dots with my gold glitter pen just so that we've got a bit of interest going on and then again just following this over and then we can just do some 
over a masquerade mask. And then I'm using this red glitter pen. Again, we're just going to do some quick lines around our roses. So if I just hold that up, you might be able to see there. So I'm not coloured in the roses, I've just like done a quick spiral around them. And then with the quickie glue pen, I am just now going to quickly just draw a circle line just by going round the edge of our clock face. And it doesn't need to be perfect, you just want a squiggly line. And I think I'm just going to go around again just round where I went a bit more inwards so I'm just going to keep turning this around just going around the edge here and then I'm going to use my heat gun just to get this to get more tacky quicker Let's get this face started. So now I'm just going to move that into place. And all I'm going to do now is with a pencil, I am just going to go, let's think. I'm just going to draw where number one is. Just do a bit of a line, number three. That's number four, that's number five, that's number six, that's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And I'm going to use today these stickers.
and I've just stamped onto some copier paper the goggles. Time is of the essence and every second counts. And then I have stamped TikTok and then just cut the word out TikTok. So now we're going to finish off our clock. So I've got my clock mechanism, the bracket, so we're just going to pop that into place with our rubber washer. And we're just going to pop that through the back of our clock. Then I'm going to put on one of the washers. And then the nut. And we're going to tighten that up. And I'm just going to use my scissors just to keep this in place and tighten it up. So we're just going to tighten this up now. There we go. It's nice and tight. So we need to pop our our hand at number 12 and then and we can then just make sure that it's not touching our clock and then the minutes hand goes on again at 12 o'clock and then our seconds hand and I'm just going to straighten this up. I'm just going to turn the clock around and we're going to put the last bit on and push that into place. I'm just making sure that everything's nice. We're going to set the time now. So I'm just going to move it around the battery in and there we have our working clock. I hope this has given you some inspiration and that you are all enjoying the clockwork carnival. Happy crafting to you all, please take care and I hopefully will see you all soon. Bye for now. Bye.